Startup Stays Bucharest in the capital of Romania and I'm joined by Rafal who's a Java developer at Google and you're talking about mutation testing. So typically mutation testing is supposed to fill the gaps of conventional unit testing. What are the limits to unit testing? So hello. Uh, the mutation testing is basically to test your tests. So it's not exactly to fill the gap between mutation between the unit test and no test. It's more to fill the gap be be for, between like code coverage, checking if your tests are fine with the code coverage, and making something better. And this better is mutation testing. So what kind of mutations does it, does it make? It operates, uh, I will speak about, in general about mutation testing, but also specifically about the PIT mutation testing framework, which operates on the bytecode. So it, um, it can change a lot of oper like operators, like from it can just negate the operation, operators or any other things in bytecode and check if your test fails on the, after the, some kind of bug is introduced into your code. So if you have something like y equals x plus a, it will change it to y equals x minus a, for example. Yeah, exactly. And then see, your test should fail on that because you introduced a bug into your code. And when there's a bug, your test is to detect your bug. If it yeah. doesn't fail, it means that your tests are useless. <laughs> Um, so PIT mutation testing, that's a library written by Henry Coles, a mm -hmm. developer in Edinburgh. And what I, so I had a little look into it a while back. And one of the things I found is that it can be quite slow because it operates on the bytecode. Have you found that? Mm, it's, actually, it's, it was improved from the other libraries like Jester or like some, some other libraries which were before PIT mutation testing framework. And it, one of the improvements is that it operates on a bytecode. That's why it's faster because it ah, doesn't need okay. the compilation. <laughs> Uh, compilation again. Uh, still, like mutation testing is can be considered like kind of slow, comparing to normal code coverage. It's way slower because if you create all these mutations, you have to run tests against all the mu all this mutant mut mutated code called mutants. Mm -hmm. So compared to other libraries, then they might do they do they do a second compilation, whereas mm -hmm. this just have, just goes straight to the bytecode. Uh, I'm not sure about uh, now. Like the mainstream for Java is Pid. Uh, I'm not sure about what was Jester. It obviously it depends on the language. For Python, you don't have a compilation, so it just uh, operates on the code. Uh, for Java, it seems reasonable uh, to operate on bytecode. Do you find that it covers most of your unit test mistakes? Uh, yeah, I find it useful, like for for my development, just to check myself if yeah. my if I'm doing right, like to to check if my code my tests are good enough. Are there, is there anything that you think mutation testing isn't doing at the moment that it could do? Um, I'm not sure if it could do, but like, I think the evolution would be to make it faster and to make it better. Yeah. <laughs> but but uh, like the, it's still a little bit slow. So for if you would like to run it on your whole code base, uh, then it may be slow. Is it something then that is better to to run as you write unit tests maybe then it's something that you'd run on your whole code base uh yes you're absolutely right it's like it's better while working on the unit test you just run it and check if your unit test is fine to run it on your whole code base you can still do it in your continuous integration but yeah the most important is while running while writing the unit test to um, to check your your test Oh, and uh, does it do anything to do with data mutations, or is it more just operations in the code? It's more on the operations of the code. Uh, you can imagine like data corruption also, but I think it's more dedicated for for unit testing and for uh, for checking not really the data, but but the, your algorithm. And uh, what's the key thing that you want people to take away from your talk? Uh, just do mutation testing because it, <laughs> it's simple and it's like you can do it while coding and I, I think this is uh, this PIT framework is so good that you can just just do it and it, there's no big overhead uh, and you don't need to spend more time on, on writing your code. It's easy to get started then. Yeah, it's very easy. Cool. Thank you very much. Thanks. <laughs>